Yeah, we're very excited to be bringing Keynote 10 to this uh, meeting in ESMO Asia, especially since a large number of the patients were uh, recruited in, in Asian countries. Uh, Keynote 10 is the first trial um, for a PD-1 inhibitor uh, in lung cancer that's biomarker driven. By that I mean every patient who went on this trial had to have PD-L1 positive uh, expression um, based on an immunochemistry test that's now actually FDA approved. Um, that turned out to be about 65% of the patients who were screened could go on the study. We put 1,300 uh, plus patients on this study uh, around the world. And then within that group, we embedded the group that had the most high levels of pd one uh, staining. That means more than 50% of the tumor cells positive. That turned out to be 25% of the entire population. So those two groups were looked at in this randomized trial prospectively versus docetaxel. So PD-1 inhibitor pembrolizumab versus docetaxel in patients um, with more than 1% pd one positivity and then the subgroup of more than 50%. The results were uh, quite extraordinary. Uh, we saw uh, a statistically significant benefit in overall survival uh, in, all, in the entire patient group, meaning those um, who are pd one positive greater than 1%. The hazard ratios were there were 0.61 and 0.71 at the two doses we looked at, two milligram per kilogram uh, of uh, pembrolizumab or 10 milligram per kilogram of the drug. Turns out that there was no statistical difference between the doses, and that's good news because it means that we can use the lower dose um, from now on. And the group that had pd one uh, positivity of more than 50%, the results um, came, uh, came up with hazard ratios of 0.5 and 0.54. Uh, the median survival more than doubled from eight to 16 months in those patients uh, who got the pembrolizumab. So it really does show you that in those patients with a biopsy, uh, where the biopsy um, is positive for pd one the entire group showed benefit, but in that subgroup that had high pd one staining, the benefit was even better. Uh, and that's important because now we're thinking about how to use these agents. We heard about that from Dr. Hangzhou at this meeting, and now we need to move them to earlier stage disease, patients who can truly be cured. Uh, the frontline therapy of advanced metastatic disease, the adjuvant setting, the maintenance setting, and I think the biomarker is going to help us do that. Another thing we found is we looked at the patients either using an archival old piece of tissue for a biomarker, that was the first 441 patients, or the remainder of the patients we got fresh tissue. And remarkably, we didn't see any difference uh, significantly between the two. And that's good for patients. It means that when possible, as long as they have tissue, we can use that tissue that's already been removed into the bank, saving patients another procedure.